In this exercise, you will learn the basics of maxillary anterior tooth setting. You will receive a card of prosthetic teeth. Dismount the lower cast and attach the mounting jig. Make sure that the lower rim is laying flat on the mounting jig and that the incisal pin is touching the incisal table and it is set at zero. The maxillary central incisors are the critical teeth to set. They are the most visible, establish the midline, and provide the aesthetic support of the patient's slip. The proper arrangement of all teeth flows from the setting of the maxillary central incisors. Set both incisors and then establish the midline before setting the lateral and the canine. Mark the midline on the wax rim and start by removing a piece of wax that is slightly larger than the size of the maxillary incisor of your choice. Soften the wax to allow for easier placement of the prosthetic tooth. Position the central incisor in the space that you've just created inside the wax. Occlusally, the incisal edge is aligned with the outer edge of the occlusion rim, so it's made to follow the arch form. The labial surface of the central incisor follows the labial surface of the wax rim. The incisal edge is placed at the same level of the occlusal plane. Once you set the right central incisor, seal the tooth with the spoon end of the wax knife or a number 7 spatula. Set the contralateral central incisor using the same guidelines.
Place the maxillary lateral incisor next to the central incisor with the neck slightly depressed. Arrange the incisal edge in symmetry with the central incisor with the remaining anterior occlusion rim. The incisal edge is elevated from the occlusal plane by 1 mm. The neck of the tooth is distally inclined. Place the maxillary canine so that the mesial cusp bridge is in symmetry with the lateral and the central incisor as it curves around the labial contour of the occlusion rim. The neck of the tooth must be prominent and the tooth is tilted slightly to the distal. And like the central incisor, the cusp tip of the canine must be at the same level of the occlusal plane. Repeat the procedure for the contralateral side following the same guidelines. 